You know, there are times when I just run into a deal <laughs> and I'm just like, I got to I got to take advantage of this deal. And Walmart was just having like this crazy sale a couple weeks back. And it was just like 50% off a bunch of stuff and all these figures and everything. And I happened to just check the Transformers section on, on the Walmart app. And I came across this guy for 50% off. And I said, yes, please. <laughs> so here we are with MPM 14 Bone Crusher from the Transformer Movie 1. Transformers Movie 1. And... Uh, Let's take a quick look at the uh, box here because honestly, there's nothing much really here to talk about with the box. It's a box with some, <laughs> with art, with just pictures of the figure on it. There's nothing really to write home about. It's like, oh, okay. Yep. yep. Oh, turn it this way. Yep. More, more of the same with this. <laughs> it's a big boy, baby. And then we have some more of the artwork right there with the figure. I mean, Bone Crusher. It's a lot of Bone Crusher. So, here we go. Alright. Now, took a look at the box. Now, let's look at the figure. So, here he is, how he comes out of the box in his uh, truck mode. And, yeah, I think the first thing we need to talk about is is the issue I have with a lot of these MPM figures. There's no paint. Like, we're, there's paint on the wheels, which is actually done pretty well, right? And he has the Megatron Edition uh, tires. Good for him. That must be Goodyear's uh, thing. But yeah, where's the rest of the paint? It's just bland. It's like, you have dirt on the wheels. Let's put this guy back here. You have dirt on the windows but then oh there's a little tiny bit in the grill little tiny bit in the grill but other than that yep just bland there's nothing nothing to write home about there's nothing special about this there's no there's no paint it just looks like a plain old mainline figure with the lack of paint but it is a hefty sucker and it does look pretty screen accurate and he even has his trusty uh, hook right here that his for his articulation for the actual uh, for the for the for the figure so he actually can swivel swaggle <laughs> pretty much I mean yeah other other than that like you know he has his wheels that are part of transformation they can move and he rolls pretty nicely I got to give him that but other than that, I mean, it's just, it, there's nothing really special about it. The, the paint, the sticker here, the decal looks extremely clean um, on both sides. I got to give them that. It looks extremely clean on both sides. And uh, yeah, he has, uh, he has the, sirens, <laughs> the siren lights on the top, but... I mean, other than that, I mean, there's not really much to write home about. I believe these are also painted on the back here. These are also painted. It looks like the there's little dots to uh, to for his uh, brake lights. And I mean, they they spared no expense. <laughs> they put a dot of paint on the back. Oh my goodness! I I guess I'm, I'm gonna safely assume most of this uh, the rest of the paint goes to to the robot mode because i mean frankly that's all we're going to do is keep this in robot mode anyway well some people are i'm i'm probably going to but uh yeah let's uh let's get this guy transformed and uh take a closer look and after a pretty uh pretty fun but a lot of steps transformation <laughs> here we are bone crusher in his robot mode and I'm gonna be honest with you this looks way better way better in robot mode like there's take I take a few things back there's actually paint on the windows here it looks like so I take that one back and I think there's paint on these little balls here but there's paint on the arms 
right here there's pain on both arms there's pain on the eyes there's pain here there's weathering paint there's pain here there's a little bit of pain here it's super bare over here i don't like that i don't like that at all this is super duper bare they did some dry brushing over here on the die cast arms so that's pretty sweet i mean all in all there's some paint here all in all like it still and oh here too paint but it still doesn't have like that masterpiece feel it has the masterpiece scale it has the masterpiece presence but i just it doesn't feel masterpiece like paint wise anyway but let's take a closer look at everything else so posing boom head goes let's bring him up to the head all right there we go all right head goes up goes down side to side little wiggly waggly right there and it can he can give you a little bit of attitude down a little bit of attitude the other way that's great all right arms soft ratchets going up all the way around coming out now you can actually cheat this a bit yes cheat this a lot actually Let's take this out you can go all the way out like this on the arms here we go arms rotate right there on the bicep double jointed elbows very nice coming out right there also on soft ratchets very nice friction right here and then we have the fingers which are just splayed out and this is the stuff i was talking about with it feeling very mainline right right here this is the problem right here it's like the hollow bits and it just they don't ugh. it's just like they cheaped out for the for the original asking price they really cheaped out on the hands over here but that's okay i guess <laughs> i'm let i'm willing to let it slide a bit so here we go now legs Woo! nice ratchets on that one going forward all the way all right going back well this one gets stuck for some reason i think this one has the issue but let's see going back he can go back pretty well all right pretty good feet he does have an ankle there it is jeez for goodness sake that's tight an ankle tilt <laughs> his legs though move this out of the way legs go all the way out so he can straight up like do a uh <laughs> he can do the bruce lee kick look at this look at that that's pretty cool i gotta give it to him for that one that, that's pretty cool uh let's see what else we got going on here nothing in terms of the oh yeah we do have a rotation look at that we do have a rotation right there so yeah i mean posing wise this guy is pretty freaking awesome now now we can't forget one of the bigger parts of the posing here oh yeah turn that around swing it around come on down and this is where he failed to get prime right here uh oh he's gonna block up the camera <laughs> all right there we go all right there we go this thing freaking massive okay cool so let's uh grab somebody to throw in there oh uh, well i have some let's see who would i have handy to throw in front of this guy oh here we go here we go here we go let's get our man uh uh, uh billy d <laughs> he can he can capture billy d for <laughs> come on billy come on billy don't run from him now don't don't run now billy come on dude get in there get in there all right Bill, billy's trapped okay cool now Bill, billy's now gonna face his his doom over here like but yeah i mean my big criticism though was like i wish they had more die casts in the uh oh, there goes billy i wish they had more die casts in like the feet instead of just the arms this is the kind of stuff i'm talking about like it doesn't balance out properly like i have to lean it against here for it to actually really balance out really well but i mean other than that it hits all of the all the points now in terms of accessories so he comes with a bunch of flame effects which i've actually already put on his his body here which i think are pretty 
cool in general. He also comes with a alternate hook, which has its own articulation. So the hook hands can go up and down, a little bit splay out side to side on ball joints. So it's pretty cool, comes in two pieces. Just put those suckers together and uh, yeah, alternate hook piece. He also comes with Optimus Prime said knock you out, <laughs> so pretty easy. Just snap that off and whoa, look at that. Oh, <laughs> and then just slide that sucker right on there. And now he's been prime punched. So yeah, so okay accessories, but I really, really, really like this one. I think this one's super cool. And I was, you know, it goes in with the flame effects pretty good. But yeah, this is a cool accessory. I got to give him that. And just for a quick size comparison, here he is with MPM Megatron and MPM Barricade. And again, like, like I was saying with these guys, it's like they're so lacking in like paint. Like Barricade, I think, gets the most treatment out of all three of them. But like this guy needs silver, like everywhere, like just silver brushing everywhere. This guy needs brushing just just dry brushing everywhere to make him really pop this guy has the most paint out of i think all three of them but yeah here you go with those three from my collection so final thoughts on this guy i mean for the original asking price i can't justify this I couldn't justify this at the original asking price is probably why I didn't buy it at the original asking price. And yes, I did keep the flame crotch on because I think that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> but but yeah, like overall it's a good mainline figure. I'll, I'll I'll put it like that. It's a good mainline figure. For the discounted price or the sale price, if you caught it on a sale price or whatever, it's a really, really good mainline figure. But it's not, I, I, I wouldn't call this a like a masterpiece. There's there's just things that it's lacking, especially paint. But it, it looks good, it's, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's a fun figure. If you can catch this guy on a on a discount somewhere somewhere down the line or like just anywhere It's a good pickup if you're into the movie main mainline masterpiece wink wink nudge nudge figures I just for hundred and sixty eight dollars. I can't justify the price on that on this guy for 80 85 90 100 now we're talking now i can justify with this the plastic feels good you know I, at no point during the transformation did i feel like i was going to break it 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 was a it, it was a lot of steps but it was very smooth very fun i thought it was a good overall experience and i enjoyed doing it but yeah once again if you can catch it on sale you know as they're clearancing these bad boys out grab it it's worth it but for the original asking price, no, nah, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't I don't see the value in that. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you pick up this guy? Are you into the MPM figures at all? Do you think that this whole line is just a waste? Have you, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out the community tab. That's where I post any deals on figs, any pre-orders or any restocks that I come across while browsing the World Wide Web. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also in the description is my Amazon affiliate link. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. All you have to do is click on the link, go to Amazon and buy away. And Amazon will pay me a small commission for everything you purchase and it doesn't cost you anything extra and it's a great way to support the channel. Anyway, with that, be safe, be good, and it's the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.